Uh, this market review is of the Ferrari 250 GTO and this is a 124 scale model and uh, it is by Fujimi and uh, this is a nice uh, car, they give you kind of the parts I'll show you the parts there kind of gives you an idea as to the level of detail and uh, I guess those are the colors that are needed there and uh, now we're on the other side, so let's have a look uh, inside and see what we've got. We've got a number of screws to go through, and uh, already this looks like a very high quality kit, as you would expect from a Fujimi model. So first of all here we have uh, our tires, they're vinyl, they're still flexible, we do have some detail on them. Some writing there, and these are going to go in these wheels here, and those are very nicely molded. You can see those uh, spoke wheels there, and they're molded, they're painted in chrome. Let's have a look at our uh, body here. So this is very nicely molded. No mold lines there, that's where the plastic joined. It's very crisp and clean and well uh, well molded. I don't see any mold lines over here. So that is actually very nicely molded. One small mold line there. But the rest of it's very nicely molded. It's a nice body there. And then here is our hood. And it looks like uh, maybe some scoops there for the back. They're going over there. And uh, those are the three scoops there for the front. So let's have a look, uh, see what parts we have here. Looks like we have part of our, uh, maybe part of our cockpit there. We've got some suspension parts here. Here are our wheel hubs uh, with brakes, disc brakes. Here's our suspension as well. We've got the old leaf springs there. We've got our axle. And uh, there's just some, some suspension parts there as well. We've got some grills, some wipers. Very detailed. There's little, little wipers molded very nicely. Tremendous amount of detail and it's very well molded. Now we'll have a look right here at uh, this is our cockpit and we've got some seats and those are nicely molded. We do have some ejector pin markings that need to be sanded off. And uh, here's our instrument panel there, our steering column and steering wheel. We've got a battery over here. Here's our central console, it looks like. Insides of the doors. Here is our um, foot boxes here with the, the pedals already installed. And uh, here we've got a uh, fire extinguisher. We'll have to look and see if this is going to be a racing version with a roll cage or not. Uh, here we have all of our chrome parts, and uh, we've got parts for our headlights, and exhausts, and uh, wheel lug nut covers there, there's our gas cap, and uh, our side and rear view mirrors, there's our little air um, scoop for the front, there is our stick shift there, this uh, one here we have, looks like some engine parts, and uh, we've got our main engine there, looks like a V12, side of the crankcase, and uh, our the lower part of our engine as well as our transmission. Uh, we've got some formers here, here are our, our um, the camshaft covers, and uh, I guess pipes and tubes and so on. Here are our exhaust headers, and uh, there are six on each side because it's a V12. Molding quality is excellent. Let's have a look at this uh, 
lost black sprue here and it looks like here we have our uh, exhaust mufflers, here's our subframe and the chassis and uh, there's our steering uh, rack there and steering column and maybe fuel tanks there over here lastly we have our glass and that's very nicely molded there's the side and front mirror, there's our rear mirror our headlight covers so it's all very nicely molded we have some decals here not a lot of decals for a car they're not usually needed and here are the instructions so here we have our uh, colors that are needed there there's the parts listing and it shows you the few parts that we won't need there some chrome parts okay so we're going to start off uh, it shows you your uh, body color which is red and then uh, the painting and decal guide there or decals and then uh, we've got our uh, wheel hubs going together we start off with our, our suspension here and then the uh, fuel tank going onto the uh, chassis we start to put our uh, rear suspension and axle together there with our um, hubs then we put uh, that's our subframe I guess with our uh, exhausts and muffler there start to build our engine and uh, all those, those are nice old carburetors there put our exhaust headers on and that's then mounted uh, with the suspension in the uh, engine bay we build the engine bay around it there and then this is uh, the battery and some other parts for the engine bay and we build our cockpit here and then uh, it looks like we do have a small roll cage there that's all mounted uh, with our instrument panel dashboard onto the chassis we've got some more pipes and tubes going in there and uh, then we've got some body parts going on including our hood and lights, glass and so on lots of little details there here we have uh, our main glass going in as well as our rear so you can open the hood and have a look we've got our wheels and tires bodies then mounted to the chassis and uh, that's about it very nicely molded great level of detail